Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are unboxing this $54 computer that I got from eBay. So it doesn't come with a hard drive and I think the reason why it was so cheap is because it is an ultimate small form factor. So it's really really tiny, even the box is so small that I'm pretty sure that you can't even fit in a graphics card on this machine. So let's open it up, let's take a look, and then we will probably have to spend some money to improve the parts a little bit. Like it doesn't have a hard drive, so there's no operating system, and it comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM, so we're going to test it. I don't think this computer is going to be meant for gaming, but you know, we're going to try CSGO anyways. And we got our work cut off for us, I got to clean off these labels. At least it came with a power cable, so that's good. So the labels, I will probably use some hydrogen peroxide since alcohol is so hard to get right now. And it looks like it worked really well. So that is pretty crazy stuff. I mean, I heard people using hydrogen peroxide to remove thermal paste. And if it works, it works since, you know, rubbing alcohol is really hard right now. Gotta improvise. And, you know, I have an entire bottle of this stuff, so it should last a while. I'll give it a try for uh, cleaning out thermal paste as well. So the unit is a Optiplex 9010, ult ultimate ultra small form factor. Came with an i5-3570S at 3.10 gigahertz, so it's actually not that bad. Now we're gonna give it a try, of course, like I said. So let's open up this computer, see what we need. Cause I'm pretty sure they won't have any cables for us either. If there's no hard drive, there might not be any like SATA cables or anything. So we're gonna take a look. Wow, that is really tiny. So first off, let us look at the power supply. Yeah, when I asked the seller, they did not know how many watts power supply was. So looks like it is a 200 watt power supply, 80 plus gold. So yeah, no way you can put a graphics card in there, even a discrete one. You know, because you can get a discrete one gigabyte graphics card for 18 bucks. And one thing about this thing too is it has a VLAN cable, I think. I could be wrong, but that looks like a VLAN to me. I um, haven't seen one in a while, so I gotta double check. And another great thing about these Optiplexes is removing the front cover. It has these arrows and they, they kind of just show you where to hold or pop out. So I can just flip this and this thing will come off. Pretty easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So pretty sweet. Front cover off, that was easy. And there's also a lot of manuals online. So if you ever need to disassemble one of these machines, I would just look at their official manual and you know, let's lift this up. Yeah, I'm surprised this uh, DVD player even uh, fit in there. You know, really cramped spacing. Um, in terms of wiring, it's gonna get tight. So look, oh, it looks like there's a power cable here, four pin. So that hooks up to the DVD and the hard drive or SSD. So this is where we're going to put our SSD. I'm going to have to buy one. Probably go with 120 gigabytes since this is a budget build. So two gigs of RAM, two gigs of RAM. So I got four gigs of RAM. Looks like they are in pretty good condition. So let's see how well it does. And then we shall see if we need to upgrade. Because you can get um, eight gigabytes of RAM for 20 22 bucks, 20, 22 bucks, um, two four gig sticks that is, so. So this is probably not really meant for gaming, it's probably just meant for casual desktop usage. I'm probably gonna run a user benchmark test as well. But of course, we gotta run our CSGO test. So I did put in an SSD, and I did spend $2.30 for a Windows 10 Pro license key. I was skeptical, but it worked, um, so I'm surprised. Comes with a DVD drive, and like I said, I'll put the final breakdown toward the end of the video. So first test was CSGO. This is when um, I only had four gigs of RAM. So minimum frames per second is three, max is 11, so that is pretty bad. You know, I should have I should have done the test in 720. Uh, next time I do a budget build, I'm gonna be running games at 720 low. So, you know, but running the user benchmark test after the eight gigs of RAM, looks like desktop wise, it is 62%. So it's like a destroyer, so it's not that bad. Gaming, 12%. So 
So after upgrading the RAM, we have 1080p, low settings of course, minimum of 16 frames per second and a max of 19. So a little bit more playable, but as you can see I got killed there pretty easily. Uh, I blame the uh, FPS on that. So here is the ultimate chicken horse. So a pretty sweet game, fun to play with your friends. So it was running it at 60 frames per second, you know, 59 minimum, 61 max. So for simple games, it can run it no problem. You know, I tried playing solitaire, no biggie. You know, but anything graphic intensive like Fortnite, I couldn't even run it. I couldn't install it. So the breakdown, I spent about three bucks for the pro key, 54 bucks for the Optiplex, 22 bucks for the DDR3 RAM sticks, and 120 gigabyte SSD was 21 bucks. So a total of 100 bucks. It's a little bit lower than 100, but you know, it's kind of rounded up there. It's a pretty sweet budget build. I mean, if I needed like a computer just for maybe work or something, just casual office documents or email, I think this this will do it, you know. Oh, by the way, this doesn't include um, a keyboard, mouse, and a monitor. So just keep that in mind for this budget build. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.